Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again, everyone. Um, today we will be, I mean, now we will be discussing our theorem number six. And this would, theorem number six would just simply state that the perpendicular distance from the center of a circle to a chord bisects the chord. Okay, so basically what happens there is if you would have a chord inside, okay, inside a, a given circle, anyways, it's always inside. Okay. If you will get the perpendicular distance, and take a note that the perpendicular distance is the shortest distance from one point to a line. Say we have this one. Okay, sorry, I, I press this a lot. From one point, this point, to a specific line, which is of course um, this line. Okay, it's the short. It, it's a perpendicular line, the shortest distance between them. Okay, so this theorem clearly states that if you would have that specific perpendicular distance from this um, point in the center to the line, okay, the chord will be bisected. And I did discuss to you about the concept of bisection. In any case, this would be equal. So meaning if the entire given line is say um, 24, then this specific um, portion of it is 12 and another portion of it is another 12 units okay so that is the that is the concept of our theorem number six that take note we will have an if and then statement remember we will have an if and then statement if um, segment OC is perpendicular to segment AB then segment AC is congruent to segment BC meaning it's just bisected ay bisected lang bisected yung ating ano um, given segment or when we talk about bisex bisection again sabi ko nga it's divided into two equal parts so if we have the segment ab here say we isolate this given okay segment ab then the bisection point would be yung midpoint niya which is point c so we can assume that if this is 6 this is 6 then we can say that AC is congruent to segment CB. Okay? So, equals yan. 6 is equal to 6. Therefore, we can assume that if even if we don't know the exact measurement, we can assume that they are congruent. Okay? And that would be theorem number 6. Very easy. Okay? Let me um, translate it in Tagalog. Kung may makikita kayong circle, okay? At may chord dyan sa loob. May chord dyan sa loob. If you get the radius and the perpendicular distance here to the chord, automatically, yung red, ito yung magiging result. Okay, so you have your figure already. The result will be the red one. Okay, the result will be, the line will be bisected. Okay, the chord will be bisected. And that would be theorem number 6. Okay, so if you will try to put that in the, uh, in, um, in real examples, Yun lang. If you will have a perpendicular distance 90 here, then this would be 7. Then therefore, the other would be also 7. Okay, so I hope that you got our how easy this one is. Perpendicular distance. And by inspection, and this is by inspection. This is wrong, but this is by inspection. You would know, you would know that this entire line here, the AB here, is a straight line. And the C is your middle point. Okay po, straight line na AB, straight, yung C niya, yung midpoint niya, yung middle. Okay, by inspection lang yan, oh, very obvious lang. Yan, if I would draw a circle, I would draw a circle, and then I would create a segment here, and I would put a line here that is perpendicular. Notice that this point of um uh, connection or intersection of this um, line segment from the center okay, to the line, this, is, this, this would make this uh, figure bisected into two parts this chord okay so that would be it thank you for listening if you would have any other questions just kindly review the video or chat me in our chat box okay so thank you for listening and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh